tugging at my sleeve I do believe it's Christmas It's cold outside but I'm warm within Cause Christmas time is here Good morning everybody Happy Vlogmas Day 14 <laughs> Do you know what the funniest thing just happened? This sounds really mean but it was funny at the same time but it's fine <laughs> Basically Puzzle Puzzle's just behind me here with Bluey Oh, look at them, aren't they cute? Um, Basil was just sat there looking at me for ages. And I was like, what's wrong? And he was just staring at me and his face was like this. And I was like, why does it look like he's smiling? And then he started going... <laughs> and if you have a dog or a cat, especially cats, they're so much funnier. But he basically had a little bit of a vomit because he'd been eating grass outside so it was absolutely fine does anyone else's dog do that so often literally they just eat grass and it doesn't agree with them actually it's supposed to it's supposed to be like medicine to them though isn't it so well they eat the grass because they've got they feel like they've got a bad tummy it's one of them but yeah it was hilarious because he looked like this and it took me a while to work out what he was doing because I've never seen Basil be sick, only Bluebell. Anyway, happy Vlogmas Day 14. I am currently, it is day 14, isn't it? I keep getting mixed up what day it is because this month is just flying by. But I'm currently getting ready to go and do something nice with Niall. So basically today, I was actually supposed to be doing something else, but it got cancelled because of the tears changing in the UK and in London so I was actually going to go into London and I was going to go and see and try on for the first time my wedding dress so it has been made it's been custom made which is so exciting and I was going to go and try it like my designer has sent me pictures of it and I was going to go and try it on for the first time but I can't um so we were going to do that together which I'm really sad about because I wanted to give you a bit of a wedding dress sneak peek obviously I don't want to show you everything because we're gonna keep that to the day but I yeah I was very very excited for that so that got cancelled I feel like everything's getting cancelled at the moment isn't it but it's understandable so yeah basically me and Niall are gonna go to a little town near us instead um actually before I go into what we're gonna do I want to give you a sneak peek anyway even though I can't take you to the fitting I'm gonna give you a tiny sneak peek of something that the wedding dress designer has sent me. Wait, wait, how can I do this? Oh, can you see that? So exciting! <laughs> I feel like I just revealed my dress. Wedding dress update. Can't go on today, but that's a little bit of a sneak peek. But yeah, I feel like I, sh I, I might actually have a little chat about our wedding today as I get ready. I have actually got some questions some of you have asked that I'm gonna have a little chat about while we get ready now. Um, but I'm gonna do my makeup as well. But we are going today to have some lunch in a little town near us, which is a really, really cute little town. It's got some nice shops as well. There's actually a little vintage shop that I've heard is there, which I really want to have a little look in. See if I can find something for my younger brother for Christmas, because he is the hardest person to buy for. If you knew him, he is the opposite of me. <laughs> Hate social media hates just like he's just not not into anything that I'm into so he is very difficult to buy for but I'm gonna, I'm gonna have a little look there possibly and I also I just think it might be a little bit festive there it's the cutest town I am gonna get ready I'm not gonna lie to you today as well I did wake up I've had quite a stressful morning <laughs> so I you know the thing that was going on for the past while which I told you about a while ago which I can't spell out to you what's happened like where well, i can't tell you what's happened legally where something's been going on business wise which is very very stressful um me and my mum mentioned it the other day well it cropped up and something else cropped up to do with it and i just feel like i'm not cut out for this business world because people are so mean <laughs> and i haven't said anything like that yet online but i'm so fed up like people are so mean and they just don't care about people and I I'm such a people person that I'm just not cut I'm not cutthroat enough for this industry that you might come across these pe these business people who are not very nice <laughs> I'm probably gonna get in trouble for even saying that but I'm just 
tired of getting sad because people are grating away at you trying to bring you down and anyway that's not vlogmas and that's not what I came on to talk to you about today of vlogmas so sorry about that I just had quite a meltdown this morning about it because it just never seems to end and I just want to move on with my life and yeah <laughs> sorry about that a little bit of a rant to start the video but it's just if I do seem a little bit off right now that is why um and I feel like when stuff like that happens where you get really upset then you start finding look like looking at everything else completely negatively as well so I started getting a little bit sad that I haven't seen my grandma this whole entire year yet or my dad and <laughs> I was just feeling sad this morning so that's why I didn't start vlogging really yet but I hope everyone is okay and I hope if you're having a sad morning or a stressful morning or you're just I don't know feeling anxious about the world I send all my love I'm with you and I feel like I'm gonna tear up I don't know where that just came from I just had that rush of like tingling to my eyes that was like you're gonna cry hun <laughs> stop that it's vlogmas it's Christmas in a week no it's Christmas Eve a week today which I am actually very excited about I just, I'm just having a moment this morning but it's fine <laughs> um anyway how are we all doing are we all feeling okay what should we talk about this morning let's have a look do you know what I feel like I'm I must be starting to get boring <laughs> I actually don't know what to talk about sometimes in the mornings when I start my videos if I because obviously everything has been cancelled this week all the plans that I thought I was going to show you and like do with you I it kind of got cancelled very last minute so I wake up and I'm like what are we going to talk about today <laughs> so thank you so much if you're still watching because I feel boring and I hope I'm not boring you and I hope you're still enjoying the videos and thank you so much everyone who is really lovely and is still watching along. I'm going to try a new product today which I, oh no I'm going to try two, well, one of them I can't tell you about because it's something that is going on next year um, but it's a little bit of something that I'm trying out, that's what I'm going to say because I never wear blush, I used to but I kind of stopped wearing it, I wear it in the summer more but then I see people putting on blush and they look so healthy and lovely. So I'm trying out something special for something special that may be going on next year. If you know of a good blush though, let me know. But I can't tell you what this one is right now. Okay, right, let's have a look what some people have asked for me to chat about. Then let's do our makeup. But we are going to have a lovely day together, a festive lovely day out, which I'm really excited about. Me and I have finished up most of our work now for the year well actually he's still filming a few things but we fin and i'm obviously filming with you guys but all like my worky stuff that is you know the other stuff <laughs> i finished yesterday which is really exciting i finally got all my app stuff sorted and over to the developers officially last night so very exciting also the app i need to talk to you about the app I feel like I'm all over the place I'm just everything's coming to my brain to talk to you about all of a sudden this morning but the app is coming and it's coming so I'm going to tell you something today because I think I can I was thinking yesterday when I was talking about how I have new goals in the new year of course I will because I'm going to be doing my app with everybody because it's coming out at the beginning of January I'm so excited so I'll I'll let you know the exact date probably in a few days because I need to confirm it but beginning of January we are gonna be doing my app which I hope lots of you will be joining me on and it's not just a fitness app there's a lot more to it than that and I'm not just saying food there's even more to it than that I'm really really excited really really excited I don't think I've ever put so much hard work into one single project I think when you guys see it you'll just be like oh yeah that makes sense it like it just all makes sense the name the colors everything there's so much I thought I wanted you know I wanted the app to really every aspect of it to have a lot of love in it and I wanted it to be something new that isn't out there yet so I'm very excited about that okay let's have a look what people have asked are you hosting christmas this year yes we are hosting christmas this year again so my mum is coming up here a lot of people thought that we were going down to wales to her but i just love christmas so much so i was like i want to host and i think my mum quite likes 
chilling ours. Well, she does very much like chilling ours, so I'm very excited. There was a question actually that I saw yesterday when I posted the box and it made me laugh so much. It was like, I, I don't know if I'll be able to find it now, but it was something like, does Poppy tear your tree down or does she care about your tree or is she too sophisticated for that? It made me laugh so much because it's so true. Poppy is too snobby and sophisticated to go near a tree, let alone tear it down. <laughs> it makes me laugh because I know so, so many people struggle with that with their cats. She's never ever had a care in the world about the baubles, about the tree. She just doesn't care about anything. <laughs> she is too sophisticated for that, it made me laugh. Does your pet bother with the tree? If you have a cat, let me know because who was it that told me? Someone recently said to me that they actually caught a video of their cat knocking over their tree entirely, which I just think is hilarious. Best and worst things about Vlogmas. So I would say the best things are obviously just catching up with you lot every day and just feeling like super, super close to the people that watch my videos. And um, yeah, it, just, it makes me feel extra festive as well. And I don't know. I just love it. I've done it for years now. I also love the fact that, you know, for my grandma, she's probably, well, she will be watching right now. Hi, grandma. <laughs> she loves it as well. She's obviously been in her house alone now for most of this year. So I know that she loves them. And it, it means even though I haven't seen her for a year, she can keep up with my day-to-day -day life, especially during December. Bad things, I would say, you start to feel boring. <laughs> And then when you start to, I don't know, with being online is a bit funny sometimes because as soon as you start, or as soon as you, what I find, as soon as someone writes something that, that feels negative about you, you and sort of picks at you, I find that I kind of start to lose all of my confidence. And I know I, do, I shouldn't because it's fine, but even though it can just be one comment within hundreds of lovely ones, that one really like sticks in my mind and makes me question myself loads. And I get really self-conscious like about everything that I'm doing and I, yeah. And I think when you're doing Vlogmas and there's lots of videos going out all the time, I'm very fortunate that I don't get loads and loads of hate. And you know, a lot of people get a lot of trolling online. I'm quite lucky, I don't really get that. But when you're doing a lot of videos, it gives more chance for people to sort of disagree or write something not very nice. And then, yeah, it's just when people start picking at you, you start to pick at yourself. <laughs> and I know I shouldn't, but yeah, I think I find that the hardest is just like knocking my confidence sometimes because... I read all my comments and I take them to heart and I know I shouldn't. Anyone else feeling extremely burnt out from everything? So that's an interesting one because I think actually a lot of people are. So if you, oh look at that light, it's got very bright. I realise I've also been talking for ages as well, so let's get a move on. I think a lot of people are probably feeling like this for many reasons. This year has been bizarre and sad and awful for loads and loads of people in different ways but also when you come to the end of the year just anyway i feel like a lot of people just feel like oh it's been a long year but we have christmas and we have some time to relax hopefully you do too so yeah hopefully lots of us will re-energize over the festive days and then you won't feel as burnt out, but it is completely normal. It's been such a bizarre year and awful year. So sending all my love. I hope you're okay. All right, I'm going to do my mascara very quickly and then I'm going to get a move on because I've been an absolute blab. Oh no, it's on my eyelid already. See how quickly that happens. That's why I always have mascara on my eyelids when I talk to you. <laughs> probably have mascara all over my eyelids I will move that so well actually it's not too awful oh no I've got it in my hair oh, how have I got it in my hair can you see that how did it get there look at these two sleepy heads should we take you for a quick walk before mommy and daddy go out do you want to should we go to the woods for a quick walk do you want to go for a walk should we go for a walk <laughs> You 
two are the cutest. This little thing here makes my car smell incredible. I might have Tobler in my teeth. <laughs> it's the little white company car diffuser. Game changer. If anybody wants one, grab them because they are so good. I've got the winter scent in it. It just smells like Christmas in my car. What a gorgeous winter's day. Look at that. Lovely. Oh, there it is again, the lovely. Anyway, cue the dog walk montage. Chasing each other to and fro, laughing all the way. Oh, what a jolly time to have a Hello, everybody. We have now arrived in the little town. I felt like a presenter there. <laughs> We've arrived in the little town that city. we've come to. It's not a city. It's literally a me and, city. Me and I just had a debate on the train because he said that Winchester, which is this tiny town. Look, I grew up around these ends, yeah? I used to play gigs when I was in a heavy metal band and we used to headbang a lot. <laughs> I love how you were looking at those people there because you got a bit conscious. And there's a place called the railway, which is there, underneath the rep train station. It's where all the bands around this sort of area come to play. All the indie bands, metal bands, whatever, and we were a very, very heavy metal band, and we used to play there, and I used to have a big floppy. This is the most long-winded story ever. I used to have a big floppy emo fringe, and I used to headbang. Anyway, we are in Winchester. Don't you dare cut that bit out. <laughs> and, I'm excited. I'm actually really excited for it to get dark because they've got really nice Christmas lights here. You can't really... We've got 20 minutes to do our shopping. Tell at the moment. Oh, it was a really sunny day and now it's gone all gloomy. Yeah, it was sunny, wasn't it? Yeah. Oh, can you show them my... Oh, actually, let's do your outfit first. Oh, well, I wasn't sure about it. Oh, you look you cute. Me... We're matching in our check shirts. You've That's why me... I want to show you. You made me question my uh, outfit choices so much now. That's such a lie, you showed me that. And like I... The colours, you always like all those colours. But well, they go well together, you know. Clash. <laughs> you said that once. Right, yeah, you look cute. Not too blue. No, very cute. I like your new checks. Check jacket from ASOS. Yeah. Snaz, now we can twin. Can you show them mine? Mine was a very quick. Right, nice, there we go, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Put my new Zara top on. Nipple? <laughs> Nipple! <laughs> hey! I got my checked shirt on from SLA, which is the best place for checked shirts. Is it? Girls, yeah. It's um, Sarah Ashcroft's brand, they're really good. Ooh, nice. My leather jacket is from Misguided, which is very nice. So this is the main high street in Winchester, which is gorgeous. I think it's so cute. I can't wait till it's dark so we can look at the lights in the dark. They've got their tree though, which I was wondering whether they were even going to have that. This is your, um, <laughs> I'm filming so many people. I feel really the whole bad. <laughs> That's the kind of lights I want above our wedding tables. Oh, right. <laughs> in the house. <laughs> How nice is that? You can't really see because it's too light. That is stunning. Wait till it's dark, I'll come back and show you again. <laughs> what did you just say? I said baubles to myself and then I said, did you used to think they were called baubles? Baubles? Baubles. I actually didn't, but I'm, that was, what, you, I was... What, you used to think they were called, what's spelt B-A-U? Yeah, As a they kid, were baubles. Not... They're balls, they're literally in the shape of a ball. <laughs> so why wouldn't they just be so called loud. baubles? Everyone can hear our conversation. You said they're called baubles. What the hell does that baubles. mean? Baubles. <laughs> did you used to think that? I bet loads of people used to think that. No, to be me. fair, I bet lots of people did. And I think you did. That's so. a good place for a present. Lochitan. Uh, we've been through this as well, haven't we? It's Loxitan. Remember, we went through this once. No, it isn't. I think I did it the other way around wrong. It's Lochitan. I don't know. I think it's Lochitan. Lo Lochitan. Maybe. <laughs> this is the cutest white company shop I've ever been in. Let's have a look what they've got today. You know what, I've never heard of this scent, but look what's in it, Niall. Cardinal. Turn out is everywhere this year. It's I've a never, festive scent, isn't it? I never ever heard of cardamom until... It's, that's a phenomenon, though, isn't it? When you don't know a word, and then you 
your your not your <laughs> your what? attention is brought to a word. Oh, cover it my eyes. And then it just keeps on popping up in your life. That's it. I feel like ever that's happened. Anyone who's watched my vlogs this year, the word of the vlogmas this year is definitely cardamom. One year it was mango lip balm. This year it's cardamom. Can you just say it for one more time? <laughs> I can't smell it through there. I've never ever heard of this midnight scent. Has anyone else? I think it's one of the new winter ones. But Fireside will always have my heart. Oh my gosh, guys, I've just found the baby dressing gown I was talking about the other day. You can't really see on camera how small it is, but it is teeny. Oh, it's got little ears on the hood. How cute is that? I really want to get it for Bryce Bub. We've been given the best table in the house. Yeah, I requested it. I said a cute little romantic table in the corner. I do love a Which is where we We're both in the booth. Can we just show them this? Now this is a bit of me. Look at these festive cocktails. So we have a gingerbread Manhattan, Tokyo Snow, We've got mulled wine, Winter's Kiss. I don't know which one. I quite like the look of this one. This one's gin, pear puree, and cinnamon slice top slice spice topped with prosecco. That sounds quite nice. However, in the Ivy they also do do a lovely salted caramel espresso martini. Oh, the choices. Yum. Excuse me. <laughs> You've got your own over there. What have you got? I've got a blood orange margarita. Shall we do a cheers to nearly the end of the year? Nearly Christmas. One week till Christmas Eve, and this time next week, I don't know what we'll be doing. We'll be having an espresso martini, probably. I w I've been saying to Mega, nice angle. I know. I want like a week where I just wake up, go on my Xbox, and nobody bothers me. That's what I'm going to do. <laughs> You're such a nerd. No, not my Xbox, but you know what I mean. Just wake up and like not have anything to do and just chill. Yeah, just wear your hoodie. My, yeah, well, I don't have one. Maybe Santa, I'll wear my will, maybe Santa will bring me one, eh? So I have the chicken milanese, I think that's how you say it. It's basically like schnitzel, but chicken. And then we have an egg, and we have some salad. And this is this is truffle sauce, I think, which is very bougie. I also have truffle and parmesan chips, which is also very bougie. Who do you think you are? I don't Come know, to, to be Ivy. honest, huh? Look at me with my espresso martini. Come into the Ivy, ordering, if it says truffle, you're just like, I want it. <laughs> It's because I like, I love schnitzel. Yeah. Thank you. Niall's got a duck curry. Surprise, surprise, he picks the curry on the menu. I just couldn't. <laughs> You're obsessed with curries. I was trying, to, yeah, but I am. I was trying so hard to pick something else. He was trying to talk himself out of it, saying, well, I'm not at a curry place. This is a dishoom. And what did we have? Yeah. And what did we have last night? Curry. It's the third curry of the week. <laughs> I love your little face then. Now that is what you call a good chip. Try this. Okay, you can put What the hell? We're at the ice Don't make it fun. It's good, isn't it? You should try and cook with truffle. Why have you never tried? Because at the good wife, we're very down to earth. <laughs> Me and I were just discussing New Year and obviously we won't be doing anything like with friends this year because of coronavirus. We've got no friends. <laughs> sure, it's just me too. I miss our friends. I said let's go out for dinner and Megan said no, we should stay at home with the dogs. And I was like, that's a nice idea. And it's Bazzi's first New Year. And, and then 
<laughs> you said. But you said. No, you said he was born in a weird year. Yeah, I said he was born on the worst year of our life. And that's probably why he came out a little bit weird. <laughs> oh, he's, he's come got out all the wrong He's got a little, the wonky a little tail. Tail. He's got he's a little, got little, little kinky tail. tail. And he's got a bit of a funny personality, hasn't he? And so. a really long time. Oh, I love Baz though. But I say, yeah, Baz is basically just a product of 2020. <laughs> A weird year. A weird dog. <laughs> Born in a weird year. Oh, poor Baz. Nah, he's he's a 2020 baby. <laughs> oh, f we don't have time. <laughs> we do. No, we don't. Right, so I just saw this picture on the Explore page on Instagram and I said, Miles, should we try and do one like this ourselves? I should know. <laughs> He's too embarrassed to do one like this. Come on, let's try. It's cute. I've no idea who this is, by the way. I know what you've done. You said, let's not go get that early train. Let's stay for another <laughs> couple of drinks. Get Niall nice and pissed and then get him. <gasps> it's the lights I was looking at earlier, Niall. It's not focusing. It's not. Oh my gosh. Come on, we've got to get that in the background. Let's give it a go. I'll let you know if we do it. <laughs> So this is the best we could get. I think those lights look really lovely behind though. It looks like a, a big old curtain. That's cute, isn't it? We didn't kiss because Niall gets a bit funny about <laughs> kissing in pictures, don't you? You get a bit over the top. He gets a bit embarrassed because of all of his gangster friends. Oh, no. <laughs> Are you doing a roly-poly because we're home? No, he's going to try and lick his willy. <laughs> Right, we're home. It's now nine o'clock. It's actually a lot later than I thought we'd get home. I was hoping me and Niall would be able to do the gingerbread house this evening. But to be quite honest, I hope you can hear me because the bath is running, it's quite loud. But to be quite honest, I have had a few, what are they called? Blood orange margaritas. I never like margaritas, do I? I never like margaritas usually. <laughs> He's being really cute. He just rolled over and gave us little. When I saw his features, I didn't realise it was only like. Oh, Basil! Look at him. He's watching you take your shoes off. You're a naughty little feather, aren't you? Look how shiny he is. He is such a shiny dog. I think it's that royal canine. I think it is that royal canine. You both got lovely coats, haven't you? Don't lick your willy on camera, please. PG. <laughs> Anyway, I'm running myself a bar, and I am just, well, I've just been rummaging through my Lush Christmas bath bomb box. I think we're gonna go for this one tonight. So it's a little present. I think it's gonna come out quite milky. It'll make the bath, like, I don't know, a bit foamy. And then I think I'm going to pop a little bit of my polar bear from my advent calendar under the tap to, this is a bubble bar, this one, so, to give it some bubble. Oh no, she's coming, come on then. Oh, she's got so much better with Bazzy, hasn't she? Come here, pup. Come say hi to Vlogmas Day 14. We haven't seen you much yet. How's your day been? Been catching mice? Fighting cats outside? <laughs> no doubt. <laughs> Bobby's like that one neighbour in the neighbourhood that everyone must hate because she, she hates every cat isn't she now she must be the cat that all the other cats are like oh that cat and that on that house she's like the kid you tell your, your kid not to hang out with. <laughs> oh poor pop you're just a bit feisty aren't you you can't help it who spotted this morning in the well actually in just the beginning of the video for you but this morning for me I caught Basil yawning. Did you see the tongue? The tongue is incredible, isn't it, Baz? It is absolutely massive, that tongue. Oh, stop licking your willy. Not on camera. Save that for later. <laughs> isn't that tongue massive, though? I told you that me and I were saying that the tongue is just huge. They saw the tongue this morning, now. Oh, my God. Absolutely gigantic. I don't know where it goes in that mouth. <laughs> I don't actually know where it goes. I start around here. <laughs> Let's start back here, Baz. It's in your belly. Anyways, I'll see you guys later. See you uh, on Monday. <laughs> you off? Hmm? 
There you are. Here you are, some footy. Uh, football. <laughs> footy. Let me do that again. I'm going to go play some Xbox. I don't know what I'm doing. Change your mind. I'm going downstairs, alright? Bye. Hello, everybody. I have just got back into my OD, and this is officially the best thing I've ever purchased. It is just. I just can't wait to live in this for like two weeks over Christmas time. But I just thought. Someone actually said to me, I think it was in one of the last Vlogmas videos in the comments, they were like, Have you been on Animal Crossing recently? Because it is festive central and I, to be fair I haven't been on Animal Crossing on my Switch for like three months and I've just clicked on it and it's snowing <laughs> I haven't been on this in so long I was so addicted to this in the first lockdown because it felt like you were on an actual island and it just like was like an escape and I feel like it was just a big trend at that time because it was new and I still love it but I kind of I don't know I lost it a bit, but apparently it's very Christmassy, so I thought we'd have a look on there together. <gasps> it's snowing! It's snowing on my island! Oh my gosh! We've got pumpkins harvesting. That's how long it's been since I've been on here. <gasps> We've got a Christmas tree. Oh my gosh, there's a Christmas tree and a wreath on my town centre, whatever you call it. That's so exciting. Anyway, I'm going to probably play on this in the bath. Anyway, let's go. <laughs> I'm gonna take this into the bath with me. I'm gonna love you and leave you, I think, for today's Vlogmas because that's just basically gonna be my evening now. But I hope you enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. I better get my bubble bath going. Wait, let's just. Oh no, I'm gonna have to, to chop off his head, aren't I? Because I don't wanna use the whole thing. Oh no, this is really sad. Let's just chop a little bit. Oh, I just broke off his head. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna put this under here where it won't be bubbly. But I'm gonna love you and leave you. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's Vlogmas. I will hopefully see you tomorrow for Vlogmas Day 15. I can't believe we're a few days from Christmas. I look like Mrs. Claus still, but <laughs> I love this Indy so much. But yeah, anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll hopefully see you tomorrow. For Vlogmas Day 15, I hope you're having a lovely start to your week. I hope you're all feeling good for Christmas. And if you're not, sending so much love. And I, oh gosh, I've just dropped it in the bath. I've dropped the head in the bath. Oh no, I don't want to get the OD in the bath. Hang on. No, I'm not balancing on the toilet seat. That's too risky. Where is the head gone? <coughs> Sorry, this is a shambles of a clip. But I'll hopefully see you tomorrow. And sending so much love, I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. I'm too good so much rubbish. But I'll see you very soon for Vlogmas Day. Oh, when Christmas has gone, it'll be another.